Good morning everyone, welcome to Lost Things Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes for Forza Horizon. And we're in spring season, and we're having a look at the championships. Greatest hits for the Porsche 906 from 1966. Derwent Reservoir Sprint, Lakehurst Cop Circuit, and Ambleside Sprint are your events for this one. Kira says her stuff, and we can get loaded in and see what car I'm going to go for to get this completed. There's a few cars you can go for for this one. The 33 Stradale's decent for Alfa Romeo, but it's a bit pricey. The 500 Mondial is pretty easy to get as well. That's pretty respectable, although a little bit on the wild side. I'll show you the Mondial. Greatest hits tune. I've used it before. It is very fast. It is very good for this. However, the stability is a little bit on the wild side, so definitely traction stability on sort of car if you're going to be using it. And I will have a look at the Stradale a little bit later because that's a good car and it is available on auction for a couple of million. I think they've come out of wheel spins and stuff in the past and, and people have been getting them as seasonal rewards in the past. This is the Alfa Romeo Stradale, the 33 Stradale Spring Chicken Tune. This is a good car and this is probably the best car I would say to do this in if you've got it. I will show you the 500 Mondial first off because it is a good car, it is fast and it is pretty cheap to get but the Stradale's definitely what I would say use if you've got it. So I've got the Mondial here. We're at the Derwent Reservoir Sprint for this one. So setting wise, traction on, that one, highly skilled. I'm gonna try it with stability off. Right, let's, let's see what happens because this is so wild. And if you haven't got the Stradale, this Mondial will do it, but just bear in mind, this is how quick it is. It is seriously fast. Within 10 seconds, I've got first place. Although the trade-off between the speed and the handling is just that. You've got the speed, but the handling is a bit <laughs> yeah, it's a bit it's a bit crazy. So certainly something which you should probably bear in mind if you're looking at using the, the Mondial. But no, it will do the job. It is yeah, it's very wobbly. Very, very wobbly. Maybe stability control on might be, might have been the best idea. Slam the brakes down, rain me. At least I didn't go into the wall anyway. But now this is doing it all right. This is a respectable car. And it is very cheap to get on me auction house as well. Oh, into the wall. Yeah, when you only say. Oh, at least I didn't go into the wall. It's sort of like, you know, make a cut and, you know, you just look at it and go, oh, I've just gone into the wall. Okay. No, 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 no. Avoid the reservoir. <laughs> Avoid the reservoir. Because if I go in there, I'm just going to sink completely not least sink but I managed to pull that back but you can see I've got massive distance here so if you're right like, if you're okay with the handling on this this car will absolutely just kick this and give you a really good easy win but the handling is a bit sort of mad and point and maybe it's a deal break of some people this is why I've gone for the two options I've gone for the pretty cheap Mondial and the Slightly more expensive, Stradale. But you can see the speed building up on this. This is mad. It's around me. Cut that flag into the wall. Yeah. If you don't mind doing stuff like this, right, this, this is perfect. This will absolutely just give you a proper sort of, you know, rocket on wheels feel. Ah, going round. That's scared. <laughs> yeah, at least I haven't completely messed it up just yet. There's a little bit of wall riding, a little bit of bashing about, but you know what? It's it gets it done, right? If you do miss as a newer player who hasn't got a lot of money to spend on cars, but can go and sort of put up with stuff like this. This yeah, this'll do it. This is easy. Remember, 10 seconds I was in first place. And flying mount here, I've got a finish line. Slam breaks down. Not well, not really did a lot, did it? Really didn't do a lot. A bit more careful for that one, but ah, totally wide. Pull it in, pull it in, and through the line, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> oh, that's crazy stuff, that is. I'll tell you, that is proper crazy. But you've got a decent bit of distance here. They're like 4% behind you. So let's take my 20 points. Let's skip all this and let's go into the next event, shall we? Into the map. What have we got next? We've got... Well, that one down here, we're looking for the white ones. I want to see if there's a, a trail event first before I start looking at the circuits. I'll find it in a minute. Right. Ambleside Sprint. Right, normally I like to do the... Sp I like to get the sprints out of the way before I do the circuits if I can. Because circuits is normally when I mess it up. But we're here now. Ambleside Sprint. So, continued championship, greatest hits... And these are the other cars you can pick. Um, having a look, I've got the Stradale, the Julia, TZ2 is pretty respectable as well if you've got that. But I'm going to go for the Stradale here because this, in my opinion, is the best car to do this in. Just the price point on it, even on the auction. I wouldn't buy it on the auto show because it is pretty expensive. Go and get it off the auction. You'll be paying probably a third or a quarter of the price of it. So Ambleside Sprint, let's continue the event and go. Let's see how we get on with this one. Bear in mind, 10 seconds I was in first place on the last one. This is pretty respectable on the acceleration. Bit of a battle going around there, but you can see it hasn't got the sort of rocket on wheels feel about it. But on the other hand, it's not spinning out. It's not hitting too much stuff. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot more, it's a well-balanced car. The other one's probably not so much well-balanced as it is a rocket on wheels. This one is definitely a lot more well-balanced. Um, in fourth place, we just need to catch up with these lot. It's not as fast on the acceleration, but certainly gain on the handling. So I got myself into third place on that one, Dog Zebra. You got this corners, you got the hill, so hit the brakes, give you a nudge. Bing Wing Wah, or Big Wing Wah there let's cut you up on that side so yeah it's taken about a minute on this one to get into first place but i've gone into it the handling far superior definitely so if you have got the stradale just get it use it for all these events and you'll have no problems but if you don't mind a bit of crazy rocket on wheels driving or haven't got a lot of credits to get this sort of car Get the Mondial. Pick them both up off auction. Don't be buying this stuff on the auto show because the price is overinflated. Definitely pick them up on auction because you will get them cheaper. Because there are some cars which I would say always buy on auction. Don't buy off the auto show. And other cars which I'd say don't even touch on the auction house. You're better off buying them on the, on the auto show. We're here now, 90%, that's right, Horizon Festival site here, so quick buzz through here. And this is a finish line. That's right, that's easy. That's a lot more of a relaxed drive. Definitely more sensible drive on that one. So 40 points on the board, skip through all this lot, and we can go over and have a look at this final event, this circuit event. Into the map, and where was it again? Oh, it's up here. Lakehurst Cops Circuit, that's what you got. Do a fast travel, and I'll probably stay with the Stradale for this one. See how it handles the circuit. You've seen how it handles the, the sprint events. So let's go in, greatest hits. You have got these other cars, but I'm going to go for a Stradale because, well, I like it. <laughs> you know, I do think it's genuinely the best one for it. So let's get loaded in and let's see how all this extra stability and handling handles a circuit event. So let's start the event. Oh, it's in the rain. So there should be a little bit of sliding going on here. Excited Tony. I'm not going to play anything new. Big Wing. Excited Tulip. Fire Demon. Quick Robert and Churned Flame. There you go. Pass for Shelby. Cutting that flag. But yeah, that's actually pretty quick into first place. That's all right. The road being wet certainly makes it a little bit more drifty. And I'm be honest, I'm probably glad I'm not using a Mondial for this because that might be a little bit too mad. But 
if you haven't got sort of credits or haven't got this car, the Mondial will do it. It's cheap. main part i would say definitely this stradale's awesome it really is ah there we go slide it clipping a few buildings but yeah last time i think i did this one i was flying around in my mini oh that was crazy you know the b-class mini cooper s like the old barn find one which we've got for the falls of fond challenge this week so i'm sure i'm gonna have a bit of fun with that one that's lap number one. ah bloody hell <laughs> bing 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 you know, I just have pinball lights up on the side here, I tell you. The pinball lights, you know, there's ping in between all the buffers. But now, now, it's his first lap out of the way. And we're rocking around on the second one now. Drifty, drifty. Yeah, slide in. Drift tap, yes. It's not a crash if it's drift tap. I stick by that. I genuinely do. So let's give this a blast round. Yeah, clip the flag. Let's clip another flag, shall we? Yeah, the rain definitely doesn't help on this, but I am glad I've got this car. Another drift tap, isn't it? Wreckage. Oh, you didn't give me a drift tap for that one. I'm disappointed. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, and he spun it out. Right. Okay, I've got a bit of a gap, so let's pull it back. Pull it back. There we are, trying to pass me. Got the Shelby. That was lucky. I absolutely spun the car out. Right? This is me giving you all a spiel, going, yeah, this car's brilliant for stability and all stuff like this. You need to sort of take a bit for granted, take a corner wrong and end up spinning out completely. But I was in a good position in order to pull it back without having to hit the rewind button because, ah, no, corner, ping. Okay, right. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> this is, it's like, this is car pinball, I tell you. Uh, but now I was in a good position to pull it back without hitting my rewind because rewind is your friend. Rewind is definitely something you do want to be having enabled because it's useful for when the game messes up and claims you missed a checkpoint when you didn't or you mess up and completely spin out or, or miss the checkpoints. And it doesn't really give you a significant boost in credit so you might as well have it just for the sake of not having to go back and restart events if you make a mistake or the game goes weird but this is the third lap on the third event so hit the brakes down go round right don't spin it out right yeah that's a bit more careful that's a bit more considered manage not to completely mess it up on that one clip that take out some wall why not dry stone walling <laughs> Dry stone wall, and yeah, fundamentals of you know of British countryside. But ah, ping, ping, <laughs> oh, complete bounce through the line. But it's a first place, so that's free for free. Miss Alpha's done a fantastic job on it, and yeah, that's it. Greatest hits, complete, fantastic. Bing, bing, bing. Different levels of completion, and what do you get first again? Is it a Porsche? It is, isn't it? It's from the Porsche nine hundred six. Yeah. That's a nice car. Although, funnily enough, I, I've never been able to sell them on the auction house. I've had some in the past and I just cannot shift them. But that is that. That's that sorted. And if you like this sort of stuff, find it entertaining, find it useful, drop a like, leave me a comment. And if you do like this sort of stuff, I've got my other championships up on the screen now. So give them a click, have a look and... Until next time, thank you for watching, take it easy and happy driving.